What's going on guys? This is Ryan with Hit or Miss Aquariums and we got a new series for you today called Triton Tuesday. So sit back and relax because here we go. Okay guys, let's talk about what you need. You need uh, a sump or something similar to this setup. You need Shado, you need a protein skimmer, uh, you obviously need a return pump, which you should probably have anyway. Um, and uh, you need to have enough flow going through this. So as you can see, I actually have a power head sitting right there that's blowing directly on the Chato. Why do I have that? Because without it, um, I don't feel there's enough power in the entire sump. And green hair algae starts growing on the Chato. When it's spinning like that, green hair algae doesn't seem to grow on the Chato. It grows better. Um, and the reason why you need Chato is because the core seven elements have trace elements in there that help um, macroalgae growth, such as Chato. You can have other types of macroalgae in there. I chose Chato just because it's most widely used, and I don't know. I just kind of like the way that it spins. So, uh, you need a protein skimmer. Uh, you need a return pump. They recommend one that. Uh, puts 10 times return in there. I added a second return pump. I still don't think I have 10 times flow, but I think you can supplement that with a power head uh, in your sump. The main thing is, is you're getting flow through your sump, so that will, uh, I think, increase the, the rate in which your Chato tumbles. Um, but again, that could just be my opinion. And then uh, they also recommend some type of removal media. I use carbon and uh, GFO. So that's kind of the sump setup. Easy, simple, fast. Let's look at what else you need. The other thing that you need is you need salt for water changes. And you definitely want some type of salt, in my opinion, that doesn't have um, trace elements in it because you're automatically putting trace elements in your water with your basic dosage. And I think that if you add those, if you're doing water changes, you're gonna overload your system with trace elements and you're gonna have a really hard time getting your ICP test to, to read accurately. And it's, you're just gonna go into this snowball of ICP test over ICP test over water change, over water change, and it's not gonna be good. Obviously you need uh, the core seven base elements in order to do the Triton method. There is an other elements to the Triton method in which there aren't trace elements in the core seven solution however that's not what we're talking about today we're talking about the full-blown triton method um the other things that i recommend obviously you need an icp oes test what this will do is it will tell you what is in your water very specifically um, and also give you recommendations on a ton of different stuff but we'll get into that in another video just know that you need one of these uh, if you're going to set your tank up with the triton method I highly recommend an alkalinity monitor because here's the thing with the Triton method, 8 dKH. That's what they recommend. That's what you should strive to keep your tank at, 8 dKH. It's the one parameter you want to check all the time. And I check it probably every day, if not every other day, to make sure that I am holding steady at 8 dKH. This is optional. I recommend it. It's an ultra low range uh, phosphorus. Uh, it also ties in with phosphate, where phosphorus is ultra low range and you can easily convert it to phosphate. Um, you always want to make sure there's some phosphate in your system, 0.03 is what they recommend, or it, your, your corals will struggle um, if you have zero. Um, you don't need iodine, I don't know why I put that in there, I'm sorry about that. Like I said, Triton, 8 dKH, keep it there, rock steady, make sure your Chato's growing. Don't let green hair algae grow on your Chato or it will kill it, I have found out personally. That's it. Um, this was supposed to be a short video, I'm sorry, but uh, hopefully you got some just basics about the Triton Method. Hang in there. Um, I, I plan on doing Triton Method Tuesdays. We'll go over uh, more things about the Triton Method as time goes on. If you have questions or anything that you want me to go over, please put them in the comments below. And again, thank you guys. We appreciate you. And I can't wait to see you all in the next one. Peace.